I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But in the end, I was the one being used. I've... Using science for peace? That's only an anime. <laughs> <laughs> God. God, we've been here. That's enough crying. It's been weeks and he's still crying. <laughs> Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Oh god, yeah, this is the version where you can see their faces, that's weird. <laughs> Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? <clears throat> North of the communications tower. But it's a long way there. Where's the that? The override system for the detonation code is there too. Yeah, in the base's control room. We are resuming recording uh, immediately we're after the reveal of the Minecraft Steve for Smash Brothers, a game that will allow because Solid Snake to kick him in the head. <laughs> in other words, they must be ready to so launch. going from that Meryl's back to recording this, you're like, these have nothing in common. Oh wait, I kind of guess they do. If we can't override the launch, <laughs> we'll have to destroy Rex. Although this particular snake, I can imagine existing the in the Minecraft world. He has, a, he has that over the top body body language that uh, Minecraft characters need. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. Um. I this is where your brain is. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, <laughs> you escape. What? Are you? The coast is clear. Oh, uh -huh. the coast, when you get an article. How am I supposed Otacon. to? Escape Alex, from your brain. Friend. Try to escape my from my gun. <laughs> Try and escape, so and I'll shoot then? you in the kneecaps. I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry. <laughs> and I'm gonna beat it up. It's all the, it's all the really subtle, subtle little it's thing. Well, like, maybe subtle technology is the wrong word. The ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but the little not subtle fine. things. Bad leg and all. Yeah, well, subtle compared to Snake, like convulsing, arching his back, too. spinning around, and pointing his gun at someone. Like comparatively subtle. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Oh right, they're Where gonna butcher you? Psycho Mantis now. Close. Oh no! Damn, they spotted me. Meryl, what happened? I think she got <laughs> shot at. Something's wrong. <laughs> yeah, there's something really out of place in this room. Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? <laughs> I just noticed. Oh, I remember this thing. <laughs> she, she was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. Picture here. If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. Actually, I actually haven't really noticed if you need to equip the cards to get through the doors because they changed that in MGS2. Because it was like a quality of life thing. It's kind of stupid having to equip an item just to get to a door. Huh? I'd say that's a uh, like you retro metal okay. gear right there. Yeah. Nothing bothering you. Once Do you need a hug? You get all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I, uh, just glad you're okay. <laughs> you're more gruffly than normal there. <laughs> oh, nothing. I'm nervous. I'm all the snake now. Save suddenly dies. Your bad luck. Yeah, that's, that's the explanation. Thanks, Forget Otacon. It, doctor. Call me Otacon. No. Otacon. It stands for Otaku Convention. <laughs> An Otaku is a guy like me who likes <laughs> to make it. Oh. What the? Oh, it's Zone of the Enders. They changed it. First country to successfully make bipedal robots. That was a transition. Still the best in so the instead of police notes, it's. And Japanese. It's that game that's most famous for having. It's most famous for having a demo of Metal Gear Solid 2 included you know. <laughs> Oh, oops. Yeah, that's what all scientists say. All scientists yeah, like right. Mario and Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't mind that being there as an Easter egg, but don't pan about the camera around it. Well, it is a very Japanese anime. 
You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has progressed because there is war. And because of scientists... Oh, God, it's really dirty in this one. Like, really unshaven. But that's all over. I thought it was just the lighting under his nose. No, it's just... It's lighting. But, yeah, I can see what you're He's you like mean. a really, like, like they over-modeled his face. Whatever. All I want from you... Yeah, like his face. nose is way too much shadow on it? Sure. I yeah. know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about really Rex weird or nose. Place? Like, the, the, it looks like he's got like a hair lip also, or something. It's weird. Stealth camouflage. I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency one four one point one two. See you later. We can fit my glasses. Do with that. Oh well. Fuck you. Didn't he just give him his key? I guess he had a second key. I'm <laughs> glad we gotta watch him leave. Yeah, well, I mean, that's why his version's superior. Kinda sad we didn't zoom in on his transparent ass. <laughs> oh, that's a wave bird controller. Oh, God! Haven't thought about those in a while. I was gonna like say I was gonna say I have an issue with that, but considering how much this whole series like played up the PlayStation, you know, it's it's like yeah, that's what what what? I think the camera really confused the player. <laughs> Gotta get this chuff grenades. No, I'm like 100 percent sure the camera just really threw him off. <laughs> Delicately now. It's funny because the actual, like the actual base, Shadow Moses, is actually pretty small. When you take all the backtracking, something you realize when you play like, MGS4, oh, because yeah. in MGS4 you just go from like basically from the start of the game all the way to the end. But there's no backtracking involved, and you realize it's, it's actually pretty small. <laughs> just seems bigger than that, just because uh, you know, no back and forwards you have to go. And there's a big like uh, chunk of backtracking taken out in this particular version, but we'll get to that. Okay, locked out there. If you do that quickly enough in the original version, she'll have she'll just be in her pants in the uh, in this cutscene. Oh yeah. My friend showed me that. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least at least it makes kind of. Kinda of makes sense. Makes more sense than the uh, quiet. <laughs> if you're gonna go do gratuitous shit. Nice for nuclear disposal facility. I guess that's the executive area. Don't move. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary solid snake. Okay, yeah, it's consistent, but it's a lot worse in Your with better graphics. <laughs> There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. <laughs> I just realized that. I had no idea you were so feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same <laughs> smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. It was boring. Truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? <laughs> she told what that it's is in this version. <laughs> it's not real. I'm a fan of Foxhound way back. 
when guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that. I have to remember I can't really make fun of the dialogue because it's just guys were real MGS1 real. dialogue. There are no heroes in war. Forms is definitely different though. Direction's kind of off, but then again, I'm really, really used to hearing it read a certain way. So. aren't you? I don't know. It's like it's like seeing a really familiar movie, but it's like but every but it's edited together from alternate takes that weren't used. <laughs> there's a there's a thought experiment. Like someone should do that. Just get a really familiar movie, but just use. That's right. Like the second best takes for everything. <laughs> See how well the Dark Knight holds up, you know? I've got no purpose in life. No ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. This kind of this music's a little I don't know. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? It's very generic. You know what my problem is? You can see their faces better, but they they're clearly just not. Really emoting much? But... Why didn't you contact me? Yeah. My Kodak was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? Okay, thanks. <laughs> anyway, how did you recognize me in disguise? Uh, I never forget. I, I, I didn't. I just hit a wall and happened to be you. Me, huh? <laughs> yeah. You've got a great butt. <laughs> oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. <laughs> All right. That's, that's a lot weirder with better graphics. So Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy them <laughs> up here, or... We override... What, what is this? It's just what like one of my I Japanese think? animes. <laughs> Card keys. You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Only got one pair of tits. Where could the other two be? <laughs> I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. I heard that Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north of here. Take me too. I know this. Is it me who's hate to like sounding too hot? Like me down. it's like he's trying too hard to sound like Snake. I won't. Slow like he's leaning down. too heavily into it. That might just be you, because. Uh... Yeah, maybe. Mike starts with a series is pretty uh, jacket, so. Yeah, fair enough. I don't like to waste bullets. I couldn't get over her just like. Honestly, I think the voice acting is a lot better than the animation really deserves. It's like the faces are all just kind of stiff and they just kind of barely move their mouths. Yeah, I guess in the original one you literally couldn't see anything. It's just like, uh, well, not anything, careful. but. It kind of made like, the quality of the voice acting mattered more because they had to carry that emotion when you, you, know, you couldn't even see their eyes, you know? Other women do. I think it's because, like, MGS1 was a lot more impressive for the generation it was on. Yeah. But here it's not impressive anymore. Yeah. But I was wrong. It wasn't like, this game yeah, was, was just like... not impressive for this generation. He was killed well, the things it did, it was like really impressive, and then it's just you wanted to a few years later, it's like steps. okay, now everything's got like properly animated Not cutscenes really. and voice acting. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand. It's still that. good. It's just not as impressive. And, so, and yeah. then be making it so soon after the fact, like, what's the point? I thought I was until today. But now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself. Afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. I'm just waiting, help come. waiting for Snake to just randomly point his gun at somebody more. again. Oh, he'll do it. Yeah. Time I took a long, hard look at myself. You take a little hard look at yourself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. <laughs> I was waiting. Yeah, like after it pans around her, he's just holding a gun. <laughs> I want to know. Take a good look. You won't be seeing mirrors for a while. There won't be any chances to wash your face either. Yeah. 
This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. You lose, you die a dog's death. <laughs> I don't remember that line. Yeah. Die like a dog. Dogs normally die by getting sniped. Or I'm blown up by a nuke. A I'm not gonna roll over and die like a dead dog. <laughs> Where'd you get that desert eagle? I found it in the armory. <laughs> it's pretty nice when I hear the point at him. <laughs> it's my turn. There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I chose this. Uh, so I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Uh, okay, that line's new. Now you treat me like a woman? This remake needs more casual sexism. Use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. Well, okay. If we're gonna go north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. I think every time she has to reach into a top of the card, like, they have to like kind of conceal it well because you can't actually animate that. Like must have been guarding someplace in I mean, that was true in the original as well, but he didn't like okay, didn't even try and hide it because he knew this what it was. Than you. Yeah, I mean. Follow me. I don't know much about. So. Subtle. What? That's strange. There's no guard. How, how does that make sense? Music. I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? Nothing says stealth mission like a desert eagle. Oh, okay. I guess they removed the guards for this little sequence, so you might as well raid the uh, area, I guess. Oh, they've got the tranquilizer PSG one. I guess you kind of need that. Oh, See how yeah. you can all like, do uh, no kill bosses. For whatever that's worth? I forget, do you get better anything for that? Better ranking. Yeah. I think it's, uh, I think zero kills is part of the big boss ranking. Because, uh, MGS3, you actually got stuff out of, uh... Each one, yeah? Yeah. Honestly, that was really cool. It's like every boss has its own, like, kind of unique thing they give you. Yep. I'll say that as, uh, I'm playing MGS3 at the moment. Oh. On, on and off. Also, since we last uh, recorded this, um, MGS1 and 2 have been uh, released on GOG.com. Oh, that's right, yeah. Oh, the original PC port, so probably not the best way to play it. Although I did play the PC, PC port of MGS1 a bunch back in the day. Probably more so than the actual PlayStation port. <laughs> Don't come here, Snake! I'm, I'm already here, though. Oh god, I can't wait to see how they handle this shit. Oh my god. Are you okay? This is one of the more over the top sequences in the original, so oh my god. What happened? What are they gonna do? I'm fine. And this is what I mean about the voice acting being really stilted, you know? <laughs> Uh huh. Yes, thanks. <laughs> the puppet master. <laughs> yes, this is fine. I don't understand women. Okay, let's go. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Sounds good to me. I mean, you have a nice ass, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't listening, I was just looking at your ass. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> In the original, I think if you press the button there, you look through her, right? Oh, there it goes. Uh. What? Why was she staring at his crotch? <laughs> I mean, I, I can guess why, but. Rude? Uh, 
Um. Uh huh. <laughs> Just waiting for him to come out, I guess. I never thought with, with Kojima being subtle at all, but man, after seeing this. one of those things that was totally in the original but but the yeah the extra definition on the graphics just makes it a lot creepier <laughs> well done snake you fucking idiot oh he's really big who's that and now direct just cut we just had to make psycho mantis a giant <laughs> It's uh, what could you have really wanted, but the uh, PS1 couldn't handle it. Only the power of the GameCube can handle a giant Psycho Mantis. You don't like girls. <laughs> you don't like me, a girl? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Uh. <laughs> to be fair, it's not that's not so different from the original. But... <laughs> MGS is one of those <laughs> series where, like, when you play it, like when you play it, when you know what you're doing, like you can make it look really stupid. Yeah, yeah. I hope that's it is. The only trick. When... You know, this is a, this was a pretty cool character until he like completely overused him in MGS4 and 5. Like, Jesus Christ. He's in 5 too? Yeah. Oh no. He's just... He's just another member of Frogstown. Like, there's nothing actually that special about him. Other than he's, he had a memorable boss fight. But like, story-wise, he's not important. You know? Right, yeah, no. Oh boy. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of portraits of Japanese game developers in this uh, American nuclear disposal facility. You are a highly skilled warrior, well suited to this stealth. Yeah, it's almost as if this port is too fucking easy. You are extremely careful of traps. You are either very cautious. What? 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 what the fuck? What? That, that'd look like a goof. Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. You'd like to play Mario Sunshine. I you enjoy Nintendo games. Oh god, here it goes. You like action games? Uh, sure. You've been playing Super Mario oh. Sunshine, haven't you? No. Oh, I mean... So you've played Super Smash Bros. Melee before. They, I didn't know that was. I didn't know that was there. I I kind of suspected, I, but I hearing him say it. Yeah. See, so I wasn't being off topic when I mentioned smart. <laughs> yeah, I prefer uh, Castle. I prefer references to Castlevania. I know I didn't play Mario Sunshine. That Switch version's like just. A, Cheap emulation. <laughs> I mean, it's not like they could really do much about that. Let's be fair. They could port it. Fucking fans ported 64 to the PC. I mean, they can. I'm just saying, in terms of this game, they didn't. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I will move your controller by the power of my will. Oh man, he's gonna move my mouse. That's wild. I kind of prefer this in the original because it was like all 
like just focus on Mantis, like it was in first person, like he was actually talking to the player. He said, I'm gonna move your controller. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a small thing, but okay. Um, I remember this, yeah. I don't remember the portrait thing. <laughs> My power is that the developers are being silly. What? 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 He, he's the Fury now? I like the painting look to that, like, huh? What? What? Oh. You didn't know I was a pyrokinetic as well? I don't play that as much. What the fuck? They're doing a bunch of psych eggs the paintings. Yeah, this is... The original was kind of goofy, but this is like... Like, this was made after the original got its reputation, and they leaned way too heavily into that. You know? Oh, they fucked up this video Oh shit, recording. the video's fucked up. I just feel it's like uh, he made fake fire, and it's like, oh, wait, I'm not burning. Oh. socket too. Oh well, it's okay. Do you see something what? that looks like a statue on both sides of the room? Yeah. You mean those things with their faces all wrapped up in leather? What the hell is this? Yes. Attack those statues to uncover their faces. Why? Those statues were modeled after Mantis's real face. Mantis despised what? the sight of his own face. What is um, this shit? I like. What is any of this? This isn't in the original. Wait, so they made an alternative to switching the controller ports because? Why couldn't you though? It was too abstract. What the fuck? Oh no, you you can't show him his face if you just shoot his head off. Why has he got two statues of himself there? That you brought them along on this mission? Yeah, but he hates looking at them, so... Wait, what? <laughs> Don't blame them, idiot! Also, this is some generic-ass music. What? You destroyed my statues? Yeah, what the fuck? It's weird, because the only thing I can imagine that they would do this for, for the GameCube one specifically, is if it was being emulated. Yeah? It's like the one time I can imagine that you can't switch the controller ports. Well, there's a PC version that I played. Oh, right. I, I can't that. remember what you didn't say to you. Oh, you have to like switch the keyboard or something. I forget. It's been a while. Funny enough on the... What the... Whee! Okay, that's you. <laughs> T-posing! Whee! Manipulate your animations. I can't give a shitty this music is. Like we're gonna go for it. Like each boss has their own theme, and they're all worse than the one boss the, the original. I don't know. This is the first time I've actually noticed the music. It's kind of a remix of his like him, but so it's something, but. I think this music's fine, it's just I don't remember what it's... exactly it used to sound like, so I have no frame of reference. It was it was just the, the boss theme, it, was, it, wasn't, oh, it right. wasn't a unique theme. What is this animation? It just... That was fast. Oh dear, whatever do I do here? Yeah. Um, this is yeah. I see where you're pointing. Like, if you know what you're doing in this game, it's like, it just kind of looks very silly. I was remembering those like MGS3 videos with the it's like a Japanese player just intentionally doing the dumbest oh, yeah. shit possible. 
That's what's great about the first three games. They, they just had so much, maybe not so much this one. Like, they had so much depth, you know, this so, MGS3 especially. It's kind of insane how much stuff you can do. Oh, yeah. And it's at, almost at odds at the actual length of the game. Most players wouldn't do half that stuff, you know? Hell, you wouldn't do like 80% of the with things you can do. Yeah. Wait, does the hologram thing have its own heat signature? Hologram? Oh, the, you mean the, the F2 image thing? The thing on the left there, that's like a little... It looks like a hologram of the building. I guess it's like the actual machines giving off heat, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> oh no, you can actually see it. Yeah, no, that don't make a lot of sense. Let's say heat. <laughs> Have like heaters to generate that shape. <laughs> I, I like that we're just like headbutting him with an Akira. <laughs> Boing. I think I've seen that tactic in MGS2 as well. Your like, it's just a good melee. Thanks, Snake. I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off. Right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake? Or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Yeah, so Naomi. You anybody's death ass, jeez. So Naomi. It's true that Snake has killed a lot of people, but that does not mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. <laughs> okay. Curious to see what his actual face looks like in this version. Because it was always kind of just like a blurry mess in the original. <laughs> Oh yeah, I think I remember. So you used the, the, no, I didn't. With the controller port? No. I wasn't able to read the future. The strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. He might have actually done it, and then the statues were just there as like so, an extra thing. But I will read your future. Yeah. I don't was. Metal Gear's underground so weird, though. Space. You have to go through the hidden door. There's a hidden door. <laughs> Snake looked at it before he said it. <laughs> I knew all along. The overland route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Yeah, I heard that. Go past the communication towers, then use the towers walkway. Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. I know. In my lifetime, I have read the pasts, presents, and futures of thousands upon thousands of men and women. H how do you read the futures through mind reading? It's... Oh, gross. It's like... And each mind that I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession that selfish that really shitty perk that Lori has to pass <laughs> on one seed it was enough to make me sick every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA we're designed that way and that is why there is war but you different. You're the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. Uh, That's our only purpose. I don't think he's the same as you because humans weren't designed the first thing you <laughs> saw, thought when he saw Meryl was, man, she got a nice ass. From the moment we're thrown <laughs> into I think he's pretty, uh, we're pretty into the same thing everyone else is. Nothing but <laughs> pain and misery. <laughs> uh. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth, and he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. 
Oh, man, he bled real fast. Disappeared. Bleeding out. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Well, I'm sure we'd be dumb if they actually depict that crap. Village down to bury your past. I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> We are truly the same, you and I. Uh, is he using telepathy? Because his mouth's barely moving. <laughs> I do appreciate that this boss fight went on longer than Ozzelots. That was nice. <laughs> it's because they had a bunch of, like, beats they had to go through, so we're just being a fight. I just want an excuse to kill as many people as I could. That's not very nice. You monster. Let him talk. Really There's expecting her to point a gun at him. I've seen true evil. Snake. Seeing you calms my soul. You're like the boss. No, worse. Compared to you, I'm like a saint. Citation oh, needed. I read her mind as well. Merrill's. Also, she's terrible. I Everyone's terrible, okay? You have a large place in her heart. A large place. And getting bigger. Uh, they just met, but okay. But I do not know if your futures lie together. SK, do you think love can bloom even on I a have battlefield? A last request. Nah. What is it? Yeah, probably right. My mask. Put it back on. <laughs> it was like just to put it on himself. <laughs> like this. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind. Before I die, I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. Okay. Yeah. Seems directional. I was expecting to like fly around and do some spins, <laughs> and then he randomly goes into that like thinking pose for a second. <laughs> it's like I've played this game before. And that's the end of him. We'll never see him again. We'll never see him controlling the worst bosses in the series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl. How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? Um, pretty easily. If you're going to doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. I wanted to do um, uh, a commentary on MGS4 because Jesus Christ, that game. It's also like slow as fuck. The pacing is glacial low. So. Yeah. You're right. I'm like, I think, oh, well, that would be kind of good to do a commentary on. And then I realize, like, and then I just Snake, remember all the briefing sec sections, and I'm like, oh, God, no. More complaints. About what Mantis said. I do that a lot where I recommend something because it's like, oh, yeah, there's a lot of dumb, funny stuff. And then it's like, because what? you forget about all the boring, now. slow stuff. Exactly, yeah, like... Oh, no. Nothing. There's a lot of, like, entertaining cutscenes in MGS4. It's, like, not so all bad, me, but... But, Jesus name? Christ, the pacing. Your real name. A name means nothing on the battlefield. After a week... My name is pretty name. fucking confused. <laughs> How old are you? Old enough to Age know what, enough to know what <laughs> looks like. Age means nothing on a battlefield. <laughs> Unless you're old snake. I was oh, then yeah. it kind of people. pops up a lot. Is there anyone you like? Liking people is not the way. I've never been interested in anyone else's life. Unless I had to end it. So you are all alone. Just 
like Mantis said. It doesn't matter if you're alone on the battlefield. <laughs> what Mantis said doesn't matter on the battlefield. <laughs> Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. It doesn't matter if... <laughs> Thanks. Come on, let's go. It doesn't matter what your name is. <laughs> Mel goes, what's your real name? My name is... It doesn't matter what your <laughs> name is! Jeez. I've got how, like... I mean, look, I'm a fan of this series, like, I'm, I'm not naive, I know that, and this isn't really different, but I just figured you, you go, like, a few steps and then there's another cutscene. I ride dog sleds. I'm a mushroom. I'll take point. Snake, you follow me. To be me. fair, that's not twin snakes, that's just the original as well. So. Yeah, yeah. Original game's not perfect, I'm not saying it is. Well, that makes this section easier. <laughs> But I don't think I've ever like really explored this area because of the dogs. But in this version, yeah, you just shoot them. You can also like do a little trick to make the dogs like you. So, uh -huh. this is, I guess this is like the first case of like wild animals in the series. Or well, at least Metal Gear Solid. I don't know about Metal Gear One and Two. Well, I guess uh, the first game's a good place as any to start. Yeah. <sighs> Do a commentary on Metal Gear 1 and 2. <laughs> I don't know, I just think that'd be kind of hard to watch. Oh, I love keycard management. Snake, what's wrong? I thought you were good with dogs. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot them in the head. Ah! Wow! <laughs> yeah, no, this is the trick. Now if you use that box, um, the dogs like you. <laughs> that was in the original, so... Thinking. Okay. Alright. This place is oh, mine. Oh, we're gonna have to I'll take point do a bit again. of backtracking Stay here. Back, okay? But the radar isn't working, and since we can't use the mine detector either... Oh, this <laughs> big... <laughs> Leave it to me. BANG! Um... This was hilarious, like, like the, this version and the original, because she does all this shit showing you how to avoid mines. You can just crawl through it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> in fact, I think, I'm pretty sure if you just walk in a straight line, you'll avoid them all. Oh, they changed the position of them, okay. So what do you think? Pretty good, huh? How did you know where the mines were? It sounds weird, but when Mantis dove into my mind, I was able to see where the mines were placed. Are you impressed? Come to think of it, I don't never really understood the a point of this bit. Only a little. Yeah. The three claymores. Oh. As in you when you crawl them, you could just pick them yeah. up. <laughs> right. Yeah. There's like no challenge there. I just wanted to walk into like those remaining ones through the cutscene. <laughs> Meryl. Oh, we see um, Sniper Wolf went to the Payday 2 school of sniping by attaching a fucking laser onto a rifle to give away her position. Hey, what's that? Uh, why are they just staring at it? What? Oh. Huh? Huh? Wait a minute. That was mm. sounded like a bullet. Uh, that's not the sound lasers make. It should be like pew. Oh man, it was a timed explosive. <laughs> Yeah, 
it's subtle, but I like the way the 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 gun like clipped into the camera, and you can see inside it for like a moment. Again, it's it's not a big deal, but it's like those little things, lack of polish, you know, when directing these. I'm being super nitpicky, but you know. Meryl. I think I'm allowed to be nitpicky when you decide to remake a classic, you know. Don't worry, Meryl. It's me they want. I always thought they just like. Like, they just got done explaining, like, oh, she has a thing for him, now let's put her in danger. They really had to hyper... They really had to, like, hyper, uh, feed up that relationship to make to make this a dilemma. Yeah. No. My gun. I can't reach it but myself. Don't move! I'm assuming this one's gonna get the good, the quote, good ending. I can still Send the dogs after her. I wanna help you. <laughs> get her to get them to piss on her. <laughs> I was a fool. I Actually, kind of think of it. I guess Sniper Wolf wouldn't want to shoot them because she's, you know, kind of fond of them. Where was the military advisor doing this? Like, uh, she wouldn't put a laser on a gun. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't very effective at warning them, even after, like, 20 seconds. I'm like, what? what I said. Or maybe they I, were I, just surprised that the, she put a no, laser on her gun, they just didn't expect it. Come to think, now I'm actually remembering it, I think the laser was in the original as well, so that's not just a Twin Snakes thing. I'm trying to be fair here, <laughs> like, I'm trying not to pick on just this remake. Meryl! Colonel? Damn! Snake! It's a trap. A sniper's trick to lure you out. No the shit. sniper's waiting for you to go to help Meryl so he can pick you off. Don't do it. He it must be sniper wolf. Sexist bastard. Best shooter. Snipers usually work in pairs, but this one's alone, huh? I know her. D do she they normally work in pairs? Days or weeks. Yes. You have a, uh, a spotter. Oh, because you, you can't really you can't really see shit through the scope itself. So you have someone like oh, usually with a pair of binoculars. Yeah. Snake. I thought he meant like there were. I, I thought he meant like there were just be two people with sniper rifles. Like, well, oh. you know. Well, I mean, I think what I said is right. I'm not an expert. No, no, no. You, no you, that's not classic right. sniper's position. At that distance, you won't be able to hit her with a standard weapon either. You'll need a sniper rifle. No, Colonel. I could, I could shoot in first person in this game. I probably could. Save Meryl, no matter what it takes. Okay. Thanks. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> <Don't you know? laughs> I just realized it's animated based on the text there. And the ellipses is being animated. <laughs> I just realized that. It didn't do it earlier, I mean, though. I think there was just a bug. I've noticed it a few times. I'm going to save Meryl. I don't need an excuse. Okay. And I'm not doing it for someone else. I was such a. I'm not reacting to anything okay. 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 Snake. Thanks. I understand. I'm sorry. Jennifer Hill sounds like she's not reacting to anyone. I don't know if they recorded her separately. She just sounds very out of. You know, like the difference between like doing a like a group recording and yeah, doing a solo yeah. one. So I remember they like, you just you just kind of leave her there. <laughs> you know, when really you have a lot of choice. Um. Okay. <laughs> Take your piss box. <laughs> so, seeing I'm backtracking, one of my mention was an evil remake because I think that's kind of a good comparison because that is also a GameCube exclusive uh, remake of a PS1 game. Right. And it's kind of a good example. I think that's one of one of the best remakes ever made because it's just this right blend of like the graphics. The graphics are almost like more substantially upgraded than this game, because uh, Resident Evil One, like it was really, like it wasn't just a PS One game; it was like an early PS One game. Oh, yeah. Like the, the character textures were like pretty damn 
samey and very plain. The Mez Evil 2, which on the same system, looks significantly better. So it benefited from the better. Rifle. What the fuck? You can use that against Sniper Wolf. Hurry up and see what? Arrow. That's not supposed to be there. Wait, where's it supposed to be? The uh, the armory. You know where you'd expect it to be. Huh. They really. Do <laughs> okay, this is like oh, people don't like to backtrack. I mean, to be fair. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. But that still surprised me. Yeah, you're supposed to go all the way back to like the first session of the game. I, I mean, I, yeah, that sounds way weirder to me because it's just like I need to save her life. Well, I'll better run across the entire game. To that go was the game. Some... It's 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 not super long. It's not as long as it probably probably sounds in your head because uh, yeah, you gotta remember you did there was a bit of a detour with like the Grey Fox fight, you know. It's longer than that, but I'd say it's pretty tolerable. It's more tolerable than uh, an area I know for a fact when snakes cuts out. I feel like I feel like there needs to be like some more urgency here, like uh, like Meryl's probably like bleeding out, you know? Have like a timer yeah. or something, which I mean, not like a you know a short timer because obviously that would be terrible, but. Yeah, the pacing in this bit's a little weird. In fact, the, the MGS1 has some weird pacing issues like towards the second half of the game. I'll admit that. In fact, there's not really a lot of, like, proper stealth from this point on. No. Oh, he's just standing. Okay, don't even... Even... <laughs> Ouch. I was not expecting to plow through this so quickly. Oh. Wow, uh... A real sniper battle. Crouch, you idiot! Just glide down to the ground! It's a, it makes you smaller target and yeah, it makes you more stable. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm sorry, I'm just weirded out. This is a sniper fight, he's just standing. Yeah? I mean, it's not doing terribly, considering, but it's just weird to look at. Is, is that Eva? <laughs> just looks like Eva. Kind of, yeah. With like the like the open top and the colors, yeah. The blonde hair. <laughs> Shit! Is it actually her daughter? Is that the <laughs> twist? Deadly sniper, indeed. I got her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I couldn't have t told that by the music stopping and the life bar disappearing. <laughs> Glad they had a little line of dialogue to confirm that, yes, indeed, he got her. And then where's the body? Oh, maybe I didn't get her. Shit. <laughs> Oh boy. Um. Don't move. This is not moving, right? What? I've got to say, I don't dislike him trying to fight back there. I always thought he gave up a little too easily. But, yeah. Slowly. But not by doing Matrix <laughs> shit. It's a weird way to do it. It was like the actual gameplay is nothing really like that. The boing? <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want it either. I don't want it. It's got snake hooties on it. Ew. A 
the lady <laughs> It looks like she kicked it to the soldier, like, you know, you, you confiscate. Doesn't mean he kicked it away as well. If the world's great assassins are women. Do you want to die now? God, that's weird. Yeah, just, just like, friend. you know, he's a character I'm familiar with. The same voice, but suddenly, like, oh god, that's what she looks like. You were <laughs> 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 supposed to take the gun, idiot. Is that right? Well, at least you've got spirit. I shot you like five times in the head. I am Sniper Wolf. I know. And I always. It's almost, it's almost weirded that she was tranked. <laughs> Oh, she's allowed to sh I had some energy drink, I'm fine. What? What? I've left my mark on you. It's another thing that was in the original, but wh where's the mark? Until I kill you, you're all I'll think about. Did that actually leave a mark or not? You just hit me, you little shit! Take him away! <laughs> what? What was that? Uh. Kill him yet. You like you got like hulked up? Leave what the? F me. What? I want no. Did <laughs> you hit me, you little shit? Yes, he's my target. What? Why did he pass out? Cause he got hit on the head. But no, he didn't fall over like, from the hit on the head. It was like delay. He was just like, Ugh. I don't think that's how that works. They're trying to make him look really tough, and it's just solid snake. Yeah, he gets knocked unconscious here, but not without a fight. Damn it, he's solid snake. I always knew that one. They're really just trying to like, meet you. like push him, you know? Even though he's really cool in the original. But for a second, I thought we got the UFO ending. <laughs> well, it is a Konami game. <laughs> All right. Me? Why, I'm the man from whom you stole everything good. All right, twin snakes. We've got to really play up this rivalry. Oh yeah. long years. Finally, the two of us meet. The brother of light and the brother of dark. Do you need his Snake is the dark one, right? Because he's like evil or whatever? Yes. Yeah, he's cool because he's got dark hair. Oh, okay. We needed to correct the genome soldiers' mutations. Then we'll be able to cure them? No. We still have to get our hands on Big Boss's DNA. Man, the guy who voices Liquid is an absolute have fucking goof. <laughs> He almost loves voicing the character as much as like he just loves doing Snake. Like they just, just really plays up, like doing silly YouTube videos as, as Liquid. I'm still kind of stuck on the fact that we shot the shit out of this lady, only to follow her into another room where we lose. Yeah, I was a fun of that in games in general. Like you beat the boss and then you're like, oh, but you were quite to lose anyway. Yeah. But, uh... I feel like this commentary is like twofold because I get to talk about the original and this this remake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so they just discovered this eye trick and then they just. Played it up like sure. five times in the last anyway, two cuts. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You and I are both the last surviving sons of Big Boss. Fun fact: When I played MGS One, it's I didn't realize it was a sequel. I don't think a lot of Western players did. No, yeah. It's but like this whole playing with the Big Boss thing. It's like you feel like there's a bigger world what? you just haven't seen. You know, <clears throat> the Big Boss thing's like a real legend from the way they talk about him. You know, All it's right, pretty cool. Reverend. I'll be right there. They're not responding to our demands. We launched the first. Pretty sure I got into this late, so planned. like, whenever I saw this, I think MGS3 was already out, so I was just like, oh, they're referencing that thing in a future game. That's cool. 
<laughs> Whoops. Something's funny. Normally, the Americans are the <laughs> These characters are not the dressed for uh, Alaska. They must <laughs> think they've got something up their sleeves. It's a silly Japanese video game, but, like, Jesus Christ. I just think, pitch a liquid going, stepping out, like, oh, fuck, it's cold! You're in charge here, Ocelot. What about you? Want to stay for the show? I'm not interested. Yep. Huh? It's time to feed the family. Is that a what? euphemism? So, you prefer your wolves to my show, hmm? I'm also, gonna say playing MGS1, I never predicted cool, Ocelot like would be one the of the main cheap. characters in the whole series, you know? <laughs> yeah, right. He was just like the first boss, I never, even after beating the game, I never thought it was that important, apart from my like, little, uh, little like phone uh, conversation that happens after the credits. Well. His mental defenses were reinforced by hypnotherapy. Man, this is lazy game design. They just reused but Snake's face model for the villain there. <laughs> he's killed 12 men. Whoever he is, he's some kind of lunatic. Bastard took my hand. How could he have gotten in here? Perhaps. Here's where my hand used to be, by the way. <laughs> yeah, a lot of like. You know, the little body gestures like, I need your brain, and he like taps his head and like, that's what We've also brain. got to find out what <laughs> killed Baker and Octopus. We're short-handed, so make this little torture show of yours as short as possible. Torture? This is an interrogation. I remember watching a review or, or <laughs> something, this isn't my idea, but someone pointed out, later. where did that like, Rather. electrocuting chair come from? <laughs> like, why is that here? Did Ocelot bring that with him? Oh, uh, oh who are we going to eat? Probably did. Just look at him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, get you to eat here. So, remind me, they just mentioned Octopus is dead? Yep. Was that, um. Like, not oh, fucking. Man. What's this dude's name? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Meryl. Um, did they, like, that's the thing, did they acknowledge that was a decoy until just now? Not yet. Oh. We haven't literally said it, you're not supposed to know. Okay, so when they mention Octopus is dead, we're not actually supposed to know that was the same, like, no. how he died. Down. Interesting. No. But at the same time, Baker died the same way. <laughs> Sorry, it's just one. Wait, Baker's. Because in this way, you make the minimal like a dirty old man. Like, what? <laughs> Yes, he. I'm waiting also lot to say yes, he. I know, right? Like, like that bit of King of the Hill goes like, "Hey, good looking." Bobby goes, "Hey." About <laughs> Sometimes she even falls in love with him before she kills them. Okay. Finally, just the two of us. I oh, know it's just funny to me. They were just like Baker and Octopus, and it's like the two guys that have died have been Are Baker and that other guy. So it's like, yeah. Wait a minute. Not bad. Caught a nice nap on this revolving hey, you guys, place. you know the Dobbage died too, right? The president of Armstead or whatever. To hear that. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the, the three, three. Yeah, like, yeah. Three. Who, I, I mean, who's Octopus? Yeah, two they, guys. There's no guy called Octopus. But we got a pet He's Octopus, fine. and it was, they killed him. <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> Real torn up about it. Say <laughs> so, you know, that like Snake was briefed about decoy Octopus. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Washington was taking quite a chance sending you here. Someone must have a lot of faith in your skill, hmm, carrier boy? I wonder, I wanna be the person who's favorite uh, member of Fox on this decoy octopus, because you do see him a so, fair bit, but... Metal Gear is <laughs> a new type of nuclear warhead, huh? What's a Metal Gear? Go ask Campbell for the full story. The Colonel. By the way, you got an optical disc from President Baker, didn't you? What if I did? Yeah, I spun around and put Is my gun that in the it. only disc. There's no other data. What do you mean? There's no copy. If not, that's fine. Oh, shadow. We. Well, it's a really aliased shadow there. Is Meryl okay? She's not dead yet. 
thanks to Wolf's whim. But it's up to you if you wanted to stay that way. You were holding one card key. Where are the other two? What's the trick behind that key? Uh, it depends on the version of the game you're playing. That weasel of a president said there's some kind of trick to using the key. Hell if I know. I see. No problem then. <laughs> huh? That's you. You're going to play a game, son. I like you are controlled just as well with my left. Find out what kind of man you really are. When the pain becomes too great to bear, just give up and your suffering will end. But if you do, the girl's life is mine. Oh no, there's a bit I've heard about that's coming up. So how about that right hand ocelot? There's a bit coming up here that's very twin snakes. Press the resist button repeatedly to regain your strength. Okay. When you've had enough, press the okay, this, this, button. Well, this dialogue was in the original. When your life reaches zero, the game But what's coming up? It, it wasn't. There are no continues, my friend. Don't even think about using oh. it. Or I'll know. I'm breaking the fourth Snake. wall, how wacky. It's been a long Damn time it. since you Just him pointing at the camera, that's yeah. yeah. So what? If your body Oh, fun fact, when I played MGS1 for the very first time as a kid, I did use auto fire and he doesn't, he doesn't know he doesn't know. Yeah, I don't he can't tell. Come on. I won't tell. Why don't you just give That was them being cheeky, dialed up I'm to eleven. To run a high voltage electric <laughs> current through your body. If it's just for a short time, it won't kill you. Did you know that it was the French who first thought of using electrical shocks as a means of torture? Hey, French films are all right, but I don't care about that crap. What? Mm, you're huh? a tough guy. What? Like, I I didn't mention French movie. films. What? What? You're no POW. What's he talking you're about? A hostage. There's no Geneva Convention. No. You're no POW because you don't pull you. weapons out of your underwear. Trying to feel a little scared. <laughs> Good. You should be. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm still reeling for that. Yeah, French invented electrical torture. I don't watch French films. Uh, um? <laughs> Let's see it. Oh, that's a hell of a button combination. I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, GameCube has like buttons it can use, right? Yeah, it's got a few, uh, yeah. It's why is. Why, why are you gonna press those two? Is it just in case you accidentally press it? Uh, that's weird. That's weird. Oh, we're not finished yet. Whatever. Okay. You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. You're the boss's brother, all right. Your brother. He's an amazing man. Who else could shoot down two F-16s with a chopper? The Les Enfants Terribles project was not a total failure. I don't watch French he films, so... He's the one man who could make my <laughs> dream into reality. It, what? what? <laughs> it's just his response whenever he hears something like... <laughs> something to do with Fran France or French. Not some French rushing. I don't watch French films. I love French bread. But I don't watch French films. Oh boy. Every time we get to a new scene, I'm just like, how are they gonna, like, make this movie <laughs> over the top? Speaking of. <laughs> Looks like I got a roommate. Yeah, you wake up. I just realized that's segment. The DARPA chief. <sighs> what a stench. <laughs> it's a corpse snake. What? Dead people? Didn't have to deal with them. I just got a flashback to the morgue scene in Snatcher. <laughs> that bit with a head like 
as mag is in it. Are you okay? Oh yeah. I've been better. How's Meryl? They got her. Damn, my legs are shaking. Damn, Colonel. Okay, I know. I got <laughs> you know, my too. The government has they did the uh, PC engine mini because uh, Konami own the rights to Hudson now, on, so that's their thing. Why don't you stop they did a horde of Snatcher, sorry, but they didn't translate it. What are you talking what? about? But it's on the the Western. It's like the Turbo Graphics whatever. You can play Snatcher on it, but it's the Japanese version. In the Western release. Oh right. Because it wasn't like the only English version was on the Sega CD. Oh, so, geez. that's weird. It's a story-heavy game that you cannot possibly enjoy. Does the White House know about this? How deep it is it it's, just, it's weirder as if they, like, know, just didn't include it, you know? Like... The president had not been briefed about the Rex project. Yeah. To no basis. Is that the idea? These are sensitive times. Even subcritical nuclear tests are causing quite a stir. Plausible deniability, huh? It's like yeah. we finally got Mother 3 in the West, but we didn't the translate it. And his Russian counterpart Basically, yeah. <laughs> the start three accord. Although, I suppose the difference there was like that's the Sega CD version the was released. That's right. right. It wasn't exactly reasoned. And, that's why we can't let this terrorist attack go public. and it was translated. Haven't even ratified start Officially. Or dealt with the issue of TMDs. This has to do with the president's reputation. And America's place as the dominant superpower. So, you turn to black ops. Convenient. Please, Snake, just stop them. To serve your interests? Because we're relying on you. In that case, tell me... Yes, our interests have us rely on you, so... I told you before, I don't know the details. I don't believe you. If the situation Campbell's is voice so actor is another one who just don't you loves doing the character at, like, conventions and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. You see, or is there some reason that you can't do that? Something you haven't told me about. The president has adopted a firm public stance vis-a-vis -vis bioethics. We don't want the existence of the genome army to go public. And that's the only reason. <laughs> Move. Tell with you. I'm sorry. The corpse of the doctor. I'm being silent at you. Right here next to me. Poor man. But it's strange. He looks and smells like he's been dead for days. All he stinks. Too. Drained. <laughs> Maybe to slow down decomposition? I have no idea. But the chief only died a few hours ago, right? Right. But he's already started to decompose. What could it all be about? Something in his blood that they wanted? I doubt it. Just the nanomachines in the transmitter. Did the chief tell them his detonation code? I'm afraid so. It looks like they've got both codes and are nearly ready to launch. Damn. Is there any way to prevent it? It seems there's some type of emergency override device that can cancel out the detonation code. It's a countermeasure that Arms Tech installed secretly. You have to unlock. I just can't wait for card keys. Johnny to and show up and be keys? like, "Hey, shut up in there!" And then there's like an explosion or something <laughs> every time he says it. Besides, <laughs> yeah. I'm locked up here. We've got no choice. A really Forget play up him go to the toilet. Your top priority now. <laughs> It's like in stereo sound, and it's like flying around, and the screen goes all brown. <laughs> Bust out of there and get to the communications tower. Also, what? Snake and somehow still I manages to point a gun at him. I'll say <laughs> He points a gun at his own code, eh? Let's see how they handle this. <laughs> Damn, I caught a cold. That witch. You know it would be really like stupid cold. if they turned Johnny into like a major character. <laughs> That'd be so stupid. That'd oh. be terrible. Look <laughs> at MGS4, Christ. <laughs> Campbell, Campbell is a guy sneezing. What does that mean? Otacon. Are you still okay? Yeah, thanks to the stealth camouflage, that is. I have a favor to ask. I need your help. I need some medicine for Johnny. When you'd ask, <laughs> what should I do? Tissues. Captured. I'm locked up here in this cell. What cell? Uh, there's a big torture machine nearby. Okay, I know it. It's close. I'll be there right away. So apparently, that torture <laughs> machine is just a thing that exists. Though. <laughs> okay. Say like, yeah, we oh yeah, yeah, we definitely keep that around. You know. Huh. 
Oh good, he's a survivor. <laughs> hey, stop teabugging in there, will you? <laughs> so, Nate, you're supposed to do that when the exit is open. New killer, Johnny. <laughs> hey, shut up in there, will you? <laughs> Doesn't have the same hey. gusto as the original. Yeah. Shut up in there, will ya? Typing in Morse Shut code, there, I think. Yeah. Hey. It's a code to Shut open up the door. There, will ya? Hey. Snake, it's showtime. Ocelot wants you. Tell you once more. Press the resist button uh. repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the surrender button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. Also, auto fire. Ah, uh, whatever. War continues, my friend. It's actually gonna do it again. I fought wars in Afghanistan, no. Mozambique, Eritrea, and Chad. Among the Mujahideen guerrillas, oh. I was known and feared as Shalashaska. I, I mean, I like French movies, but grew. wait. <laughs> I'm not like one of those KGB slugs. Using grew? Really? This isn't torture. It's a sport. You're all just a bunch I just think, like, like, when I first played this, like, you just Don't seeing this cowboy guy was American, all fucking fools. Russian. <laughs> Well, shall we begin? <laughs> How did you like that? Shall we go? Uh, I mean, I've seen it. Torture porn films. Had enough yet? Oh, we're not finished yet. You want to play a game, Snake? This is certainly an interesting beat for a PS1 game. Mm -hmm. Like having a gun, I go through this uh, torture sequence. Yeah. You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. We live in a sad age. Imperialism, totalitarianism, perestroika. 20th century Russia has had its share of problems, but at least they had an ideology. Russia today has nothing. They're struggling between freedom and order, and with that struggle, a new spirit of nationalism has been born. The boss has a close friend high up in the Russian government. He's currently the head of Spetsnaz. He's agreed to purchase this new nuclear weapons system. The Hind was just a down payment. So, you're in this for the money? I don't need money. Uh, I want Russia I need to, a new hand. On, to lead a brave new world order. That's not what you said in MGS2. Hello, we're here. In the future. I seem to recall him saying, Mother Russia can watch for like here in Envious 2. He's a nasty liar here. Again, I never predicted like the first boss was the guy pulling the holes, all the strings for most of the series. I'm glad he gets his arm back for MGS3 though. Can't you just relax? <laughs> yeah. I am relaxed. I just don't know how to kill time. That's like back on his hand can. back so he can have a gun fight the carrot. <laughs> They decided to redesign him to make him younger as well, to make him more appealing to <laughs> teenagers. Snake, is there anything I can do? Yeah, my arm hurts. <sighs> Poor Snake. I'll increase the level of painkillers in your blood. Snake, 
Put the controller up what? against your arm. Oh, Watch. we're doing this? Don't worry. It'll feel good. Huh? Okay, here I go. I think this is in the original. I forget, it's been all... I, I can't remember the... Has to be honest with you, I can remember this first half of him just one a lot better than the second half. How did you do that? I think this is... yeah. I stimulated your muscle fibers with the nanomachine... I think all the most memorable beats kind of... That's about all I can do for you. I wouldn't say the end after this bit, absolutely Please not, but... Say something to take my... I know, Psycho Mantis, Grey Fox, like all those beats in the first half of the game. Anything. I... I'm not a very good talker. Please. Oh yeah, this is a bit of reference before, like... It's quite emotional, that's so... That's a tough one. Any family? That's not a happy topic for me. The animation's all over the place. Yeah? Oh, wait. There was a man who said he was my father. Where is he? Dead. By my own hand. Big Boss. <laughs> she was like... <laughs> Big Boss! <laughs> I was like, wait, what? There's no way you could know. Yeah, it's definitely a little screwy here. Sons of our land, six years ago. Only Snake and I know the real truth of what happened there. So, is it true? Was Big Boss really your father? That's what he said. That's all I. I don't know if the originals were animated based on the actual like audio wave files. This one's animated based on the text. It's just. It's what we wanted. It's definitely off. Me. Yeah. And him. That's patricide. Yeah. That's the trauma of my life. Just like Mantis. Music's said. very different Is in this scene. Left, Foxhound? Let's just say that I needed to be alone for a while, and Alaska was the perfect place. It is weird, like they changed all the music apparently. Like I don't remember it really, but it's all it's all new. Either. Strange that they just completely me through school. redid the composition. You weren't even blood related. Yeah. He was much older than me. Where is he? He's dead. I'm sorry. Snake. Jumping around, getting punched is in the face. Is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to trust anyone. Friends? Roy Campbell. <laughs> You're still calling me friend? Is that it? No. There was another. Frank Yeager. <gasps> Big Boss is they, most trusted. They're talking about the same the person. Only of Fox oh. I've ever received the code name Fox. Gray Fox. I learned a lot from him. Didn't you try to kill each other? It's yeah, that's how we have fun. We did. In <laughs> Zanzibar land. But it was nothing personal. We were just professionals on opposite sides, that's all. And you still call yourself friends? Oh, you still call Ugly. yourself friends. War is no reason to end a friendship. That's insane. I first met him on the battlefield. He was being held a prisoner of outer heaven. But he didn't look like a prisoner to me. He was always so... Cool and precise. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. You knew him well? No. We never talked about our personal lives. Sort of an unwritten rule. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. And friends. We were fighting barehanded in <laughs> minefield. I know it sounds strange to most people, but we were just two soldiers doing our jobs. It's like a sport. It makes no sense. Just violence, murdering each other. Yeah. I think so, too. So if you were friends, then how do you explain the ninja's behavior? I don't know. It's your genes. They make you predisposed toward violence. You really <laughs> like talking about genes. Naomi, why did you get into genetic research anyway? And then in MGS4, they just randomly just made her an expert on, like, were. programming for some reason. <laughs> I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA? I thought if I could thoroughly understand DNA, I could get back my identity. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information... I just realized it's just I Jennifer Hale just voicing and just being herself. Like, memory. she's not even doing a character here. Stored in yeah. DNA. We're not sure, but we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just because I feel like I've heard her in like in Justice DNA. League things. So what about my this is just a normal speaking you know voice. DNA sequence, don't you? Your fate? I a little more bored. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have no idea. Of course not. You're a scientist, not a fortune teller. Can't you read my mind to see my future? <laughs> hey, shut up and never <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> he was doing that the entire time during that conversation. Hey. 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 Shut up in there, will ya? Shut up in <laughs> there, will ya? <laughs> Is he so rapid fire one? Oh, my stomach. Damn it. That, that's your ass. <laughs> I think they might be connected. <laughs> oh, do not kill her. Shit, you already got. <laughs> Don't debug the, the corpse. Because he got moid. <laughs> wow. Like... <laughs> Some good invisibility hey, right there. I'm here. Where? I can't see you. It's me, the Wraith. It's me. Otacon. Ding dong. Wow. <laughs> they even captured you. Perfect. <laughs> what the f- <laughs> That hurts. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> He's very fucking strong. Is that how you ask a guy a favor? Let me go. He's so calm. I'm convinced he did not have the direction for the like how they changed the scene. I am convinced of that. <laughs> that is not a line reading when you're being lifted up oh, in the air. Jeez, it's like an animal's cage. What a smell! He's doing a good oh, job. <laughs> he's gonna be able to really quickly get you out of there when he's uh. Hi. What? It's the DARPA chief! You see that quite clearly from that little window and a door. Here. I'll be laying next to him. Those bastards. Oh, that's right, it doesn't actually just let you out. Security card. You need a key like the soldiers can. That's a... So what are you doing here then? Huh. I... I just find it weird looking at a rush in the site. Proportion. If you need more food, I can bring some more later. I brought you some ketchup. Also, fair. It I is useful. This level six card. It'll get you out of that torture room. The, the, the Here, torture room's not the thing I'm locked in, Otacon. And she just like really gave him that. Otherwise, he'd get out the cell and then he couldn't get out there. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Why? I don't know why. She's nice to me. Sounds like Stockholm Syndrome to me. I was taking care of the- What, like she's being kidnapped by Otacon? The terrorists took over, they were planning to shoot all the guys. <laughs> the way well. But Sniper Wolf stopped them. She even let me feed them when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. You know, we're all like dogs. Hitler. <laughs> Idiot. She's the one who shot Meryl. Well... That's all I can do. They're planning to launch a nuke. I've got to stop them. Then you'll have to get past the communications tower. Uh. First, you have to. <laughs> oh. I'm a zombie. Woo. Come on, I'm trying my best. That guard's got the key. You'll have to take him out. Give me a break. I'm no soldier. I can't take anybody out. You have to. I'll be killed. <clears throat> He's coming back. Oh, jeez. He's coming back. I just said See that. Later. Wait. Wait, no. Come back and get caught. <laughs> That's better. All right. What the hell? His eyes are actually closed though. Ugh. What if it- is it possible to kill him? Cause obviously, like he comes back and forth, so you can't possibly snap <laughs> his neck, right? Huh. Me not sure. You could probably go back and shoot him, so, uh... Yeah, I guess, I guess there's nothing stopping you from doing that. And, and the thing about that is if you do that, uh, you get a game over. And Colonel tells you you've Maybe. created a time paradox. 
Uh, I don't know. I guess, uh, I guess you could have shot him before as well, because he did the whole first person shooting thing now. Yeah. Before you couldn't really like, aim at him to do that, so... Teabag Johnny before I left. <laughs> I'll show him. Try to hit all the buttons on the elevator before I left. <laughs> Just be a dick. Genuinely don't know what we're doing here unless it's just a farm for items. Got the whole. This game's just so trivial with being able to do this. <laughs> now it's kind of a problem with MGS2 as well, but not to the same degree. Well, yeah, because the game, the levels are actually designed with that in mind. Yeah. Even if it didn't always work out, at least there was like an attempt. Yeah, whereas MGS1 is just like it's the, the child is trying to dodge. It's kind of arcade. You're just trying to dodge the cones of vision. Yeah. So it makes it more like a more literal translation of the, the original Metal Gears. Hmm. Like, obviously very different, but it's a little closer to uh, the older games in that way. I do know um, MGS1 is very similar to... Uh... Oh no. Is that Eternal Darkness? Oh no, don't play that. Oh, what the hell? It's a Silicon Knights of the game. I bet it's not very good. It's like one of those cult games, but it's... I've heard I... some, from some credible sources that it's not actually a very good game. It's a name I've heard several times, but yeah, I don't know anything about it. It's like... It, it, it's a horror game that's not very scary. <laughs> But it does this like, like psychomanda shit where it's like if you let your sanity meter go to a certain distance, like the game starts like glitching out, and it's like, ooh, it's crazy. But maybe why they uh, got them to do this game. <laughs> I always remember this area in the original, but just, but there's like gun cameras are such a pain to deal with. I just never went in here. You went first person, this guy looked like he was struggling with him. Shoot at the camera first if you want to knock it out. I kind of feel like I'd have to, like, let me force it. If I ever wanted to play this, I'd have to crank up the difficulty just to compensate for <laughs> everything else. Do we really need to, like, do this, like, run? Because it's not like it's a hard game. <laughs> it's like, Sneak. there's a bomb planted in your items. Hurry, throw it uh -huh. away. Who the hell are you? One of them? You'll find out soon enough. Forgot about this. Yeah, after the uh, torture sequence, they leave a bomb in there. Oh. You have to discard off. Yeah, that's the scene. That was a close one, Snake. Ocelot. You'll pay for that. That Deep Throat's a real enigma. He's definitely from inside their ranks. Is he an informer? Maybe some kind of renegade? I've got the feeling there's some other force at work here. <laughs> the impatient solid snake. Yeah.
Hurry, I have to find Meryl's ass. Oh, that's why you destroyed the lasers. He didn't smoke at him. Well, it's perfectly hell they didn't want that, but in a Nintendo game. They want to force kids to smoke. I don't remember there being guards here, but it's been a while, you know? Like I said, the second half of this game. Yeah. It's a good thing we're watching the superior version of it to get a refresher. Yes, of course. Wait, did the guy see the other guy lying down before he saw Snake? I don't know. I just know this first person trying gun is like. Just... The thing is, you won't even like get demerited for using this either. Like. It counts as no kills, so right. you'll get a big boss ranking from this. Like, I kind of feel like that should set, send out guards, you know? Like, there's a camera down, uh, Unit B, go and check it out, you know? Right, yeah, like it did in you the, uh, at least three, I think. Also, in like, MGS3, there's no like limit on the suppressor as well, so yeah, as long as you've got bullets. I'm like, good luck winning out of bullets, you know? Yeah. Sounds like they just didn't really, like, playtest this. And then... That makes the, the, the tweaks I make for backtracking, like, just... All the more interesting, because... I know backtracking is tedious, but... You're making the... Like, you're making it even easier. You know, come to think about, uh, I don't think I mind uh, not having to backtrack for the sniper rifle because you already have to come back here anyway because of the tor torture sequence. Yeah. Those lockers. It does feel like this game is even more so cutscenes than actual gameplay, though. Especially with how fast this guy's just blowing through it. That's the thing, yeah. Like, that was always a, a, a criticism and a valid one, but. Uh... Wow. It was always a valid criticism, but yeah, the, the fact that they're cutting out backtracking and uh, making a lot of these sequences kind of trivial just makes like, the ratio of cutscenes even greater than it was in the original. I guess there was gameplay with you for a while. Was that an easter egg? Uh... notice. Going back to what I was saying about the uh, Resident Evil remake, it's, it, they add like they add enough to it for it to be like considered a new game and not like, just completely render the original obsolete. And there's this whole thing about a character called um, Lisa Trevor, who's like this basically like like a zombie, unstoppable zombie monster that keeps appearing throughout the game. But that's like a sideline to the main plot. It just adds that little more depth, you know, whereas this remake is just, this is just completely one-to-one, -one, but we actually cut out some bits, you uh -huh. know? It's almost like this is too literal of a remake. I don't know, like, it might have been cool to add, like, a whole new section or something, I don't know. And I guess because it's so story heavy that adding new stuff to it would be kind of difficult. I guess, but they, they're still recording all the voice actors again, so it's not like... Yeah, but that was like, uh... 
It's like, what was this, a Western thing, right? Well, kind of. Well, yeah, it wasn't developed, but it's all sanctioned by Konami. Oh, yeah. yeah. I guess because you just have to get Kojima to write new stuff for it, I imagine, so. So I don't have any, like, question that, uh. Um. The Resident Evil remake is indeed like a superior game to RE1. RE1's got its charms though, especially the voice acting. Yeah. But but this one is just like no, like is it, does it replace the original? No, there's a lot, a lot of things better about the original. The difficulty for what? <laughs> and this, you just really can't get get over the original's graphics. You know, which seems a bit. Funny because it's only now we're getting a bunch of like PS1 remakes having just beaten uh, Tony Hawk's one and two, like that oh, remake. Yeah. And then the, I mean it's all Activision. They did the Crash Bandicoot one and they did the Spyro one as well. So well, I guess that's mostly Activision. I kind of feel like enough times have passed since the PS1 to kind of justify remaking all these era of games. Yeah, now they can justify it. Uh... Well, not night, not the minute, but... I still think this is really soon for a remake. I can still help. I this is like the same time of, like, obviously not, um, if you can all consoles, like, it's the same kind of time frame you could solve just by a port, you know? Yeah. I wanted to be a Like, if you look like the release dates of games, like, this is still within the range of it being like, oh yeah, we ported it to this. I mean, hell, they, they ported a bunch of Resident Evil games to the GameCube, and they were literally just ports. They still have the PS1 graphics, which is interesting. Save yourself. But they existed. Go on living, and don't give up on people. Man, this don't memory has a lot of scan lines. Like a shitty emulator filter. <laughs> I'm wondering if this was like started as just a port and then they got like ambitious with it or something. Maybe. Snake, about Merrill. Colonel, I'm sorry. Listen to me. I. I wasn't able to protect her. Snake, she's a soldier. She knows that prisoners are a part of war. Oh, yeah, I guess it's worth mentioning we're getting the uh, good ending. I'm sure she was uh, prepared for this. No. You're wrong. Oh. Meryl thought she had to become a soldier. Sorry, my face is having a problem. Way. <laughs> she said she thought it would bring her closer to her dead father. She said that she wasn't ready for real combat. Oh, right, she doesn't know Campbell's her father. Forgot about that. That's a, oh, that's a revelation. Fault. That's not like you, Snake. My hey, Liquid. What is it? Sorry for eavesdropping, but I couldn't just listen anymore. Master. Snake. You can have regrets if you want to. It's only natural. But you can't keep attacking yourself for things that happened in the past. Nothing good will come from that. He's right. Don't kick yourself. It's We've seen a little Mei Ling, but we've been saving a lot, you know? It's like when the last time we saw her. Mei Ling. Snake. Forget about Meryl. Stop Liquid. Yeah, that's right, Snake. Stop me. I, I mean Liquid. Would want too. <laughs> right. Meryl would say the same thing. Snake. What? Meryl. She's pretty special to you, huh? Well, yeah, special. There aren't many tomboys like her. <laughs> that's not. And that's I'm special. She's the colonel's niece and a combat buddy. Is that all? Come on. This is like a police interrogation. No, I just. I'm just going to interrogate it by all slot, don't I? The genes. What are you talking about, Colonel? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, I just remembered about Naomi's grandfather. What? I think Naomi said he rose as high as assistant secretary in the FBI during Edgar Hoover's time. Is that right? Yes. Yes. He was Japanese, and he became a special undercover investigator to NAB the Mafia. When was that? Um, uh, sometime in the 50s, I guess. Where? New York, I think. Naomi? I thought that you didn't have any family. I researched it after I became an adult. My grandfather was already dead by the time I learned about him. I never. I mean, Snake. She, she literally has a family, like. Snake, 
Well, she <laughs> say that. Yeah, I mean, he's, he was born out of a test tube. So. <laughs> how, how do families work? We finally, finally progressing. Uh, what? Yeah. Oh, it's still it's still multiple discs. And that's where the that's where the changes. That's weird.